much here tonight, Alexa. Mm. Say that. Say that. <laughs> Poetry is not a luxury. This is not just something to do with filling the times in between, nor is this confined to the rules of a contest to see how y'all will react to me. Oh, you bring mine right now. What? I do. This is not just something to do with filling the times in between, nor is this confined to the rules of a contest to see how y'all will react to me. What this boils down to being is more than a frivolous activity. The poets in here will agree to the countless times. The countless times where word and feeling have consumed so much of your brain space, you can't even focus on your day until you dedicate at least one 15 minute break to releasing some of these thoughts so you can go back to pretending to do some of the work you're being paid to do that day. What? You find out that that one 15 minute break doesn't suffice. You spend your lunch break and the entire rest of the night just trying to extinguish a fire you can't recall how or why it got started, only to find you up at 3 a.m. on a Monday night. Frantically trying to keep your fingers writing at the same speed your spirit is moving as to not miss a beat. And you can't leave your seat because you know what's happening is occurring like an electric current. And you know your moving will disrupt the connection and you can't risk it. You've been challenged to expand beyond your normal cage of boundaries. And you've submitted this night to being a phoenix through resurrection, arising from the ashes of your past mishaps. Given a second chance to compile true meaning from a simplistic alphabet. You've reconnected with divinity and nature so your words are not in vain. And you press on, not for your name, but for your message. Because for you, the poet, you just got to write. It's a necessary part of your being. As necessary for me as breathing. And somebody in here is a poet and didn't know it. That wasn't until destiny and fate led you into an unfamiliar place and world spoken is more than all you. When you snuffed it in the air and you felt it for hours, for the split second you opened yourself and your soul was showered and devoured by amazing imagery, new meanings, and brilliant colors. And for you now, poetry is more than a luxury. Then you was more than just place, someplace else for you to go because you think you're too grown and cute for clubs anymore. And you rounded up your throat for what you thought was a simple night out. That was until an unsuspecting poet stepped on stage and left you shook. It was as if they reached out and took a piece of you, put it in their pocket for safekeeping, because they knew you were mistaken as to why you're here tonight, trying to get lost at the mix in the back of the venue. But the mistake was made when you walked up in here and underestimated the power of word travel. Because when words are belted out passionately, they continue on past the stage wow. to the window. To the floor, kick up like dust, inhale through your nostrils so your lungs can't hold no more until sweat is leaking from all your pores and you can't help but to snap your fingers or to tap your feet, knowing damn well you got to pee. But you refuse to leave that seat. Oh, because a simple brother who's serious about his craft seemed to be talking directly to you. Pulled you out your seat into his poem. You felt everything you needed you to. Or a sister with immaculate stage presence managed to unlock the chain doors of your suffering soul. Helped clear out all that was festering. And now you sitting there fighting back tears on the verge of crying. Now how can that be accomplished by somebody who does this as a mere luxury? Or just as some shit to do to fill in the spaces in between? If that's the case, I'd hate to see what we did if we did this here with a meaning. And I heard a wise man once say, that poetry is a beautiful thing, especially when you write the truth. And that's what I do. Be it about our never-ending misrepresentation, political lie, love, hate, joy, pain, frustration, it just don't matter. Life is the muse, and I didn't choose to wake up one day and decide to play with the idea of poeticisms. No, baby, this was preordained. And I wasted away for years, off and down playing, feeling ashamed of my gift. Until 15 years ago, I was introduced to Nikki G, and some shit in me just changed. And never have I been the same place, blame sure. God takes the credits for my gift, for my potent power that's vivid and unedited. So let it be known that whether you love it, hate it, or understand it, just don't damn get it. It just don't matter. It is what it is. Beauty, the 
art of expression, leaving its lasting impression on all those who have the heart to listen or those struggling with the courage to keep on making it. And let the record show, no, this is not my livelihood. But I die and come back alive every time I speak on stage. I pick up pieces of poets and use them as visual aid to complement my meaning, and it feels good. It feels good to be a part of something so blessed and so misunderstood. So, are you performing tonight? It's not a question to ever ask me, you see, because I'm showing up at venues week after week, and I'm here to get a second or third helping of some spiritual fulfilling, and if my soul moves, to get on stage and speak. And there are those of you in here who don't know my name and after today only recognize my face. But I want you to go ahead and make that mistake of twisting that meekness for a weakness. Because trust, I am more than capable to bust you square in your throat with a mess and slick addiction. Break it down to your lowest form of existence. Eviscerate you in fiction. Sends the tip of your tongue with my fire spitting. But I choose not to dabble in diss. Because verbal conflict is a waste of words, especially when there's so many more important things to say. But y'all know, every now and again, there's some motherfucker that'll push you that way. So I travel and I trade carefully with the hope to not discredit its integrity, to be a righteous representative for spoken word and for poetry. Because for me, and as I know you will agree, poetry is not a luxury. Hey.